Meanwhile, tonight at 6, an attempted robbery that took a tragic turn has a lot of people talking today. And tonight we hear from the pharmacist who defended himself, his co-workers and customers from an armed gunman. Eyewitness News reporter Kenny Bass joins us live here in the studio with that story and some dramatic video. Kenny. Callie and Rick, yes, we do have some pictures to show you that we need to warn you are very intense. It's actual surveillance video of the incident yesterday at the Good Family Pharmacy in Pinch. Again, very, very intense and dramatic video. It has not been edited. We're going to show you what happened. So if you choose not to watch it, now's the time to turn away. So let's check out exactly what happened yesterday morning about 945. You see someone entering the Good Family Pharmacy identified as 25-year-old Terry Gillenwater. You see a couple of technicians at the register. There's a customer who's just now leaving. The pharmacist, Don Radcliffe, will come into the picture actually joking with the man who's wearing a mask saying, hey, this guy might be here to rob us. Well, as it turns out, he was because he pulls out a gun and says, this is a robbery. Radcliffe, not hesitating, pulls his own weapon, shoots once, it hits the man in the chest, shoots again, and hits the gun, causing it to uh, uh, not be able to fire. And then he shoots a third time as the man went deeper into the store. Instead of retreating out of the store, he went where customers were standing. Again, very, very dramatic. It all happened very quickly. We talked with Don Radcliffe today, and here is his account of his incredible experience. A day after stopping an attempted armed robbery, Don Radcliffe is back on the job at the Good Family Pharmacy in Pinch. Radcliffe shot and killed a man who had pulled a gun with the store full of workers and customers. He's still dealing with what happened, but says he's found comfort from the pages of a daily devotional he reads each morning. Thursday, February 19th, uh, John 10, uh, 7 to 18, a thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it in abundance. That's verse 10. Uh, abundance isn't God's provision for me to live in luxury. It's his provision for me to help others live. What do you think about that when you saw that this morning? It, it, so many times when I read this daily devotional, it's exactly what I need to hear. And today it was what I needed to hear. Eight people were in the store when the armed man entered. Radcliffe's wife, Dixie, says while she's sad about the gunman's death, she knows Don had no choice. I think exactly what he said, that God was with him. He was with everybody that was in here. Um, he did what he had to do to protect him, to protect all of the workers. Um, and I'm very thankful that everybody went home last night. Everybody. Radcliffe says he takes no joy in what happened and doesn't consider himself a hero. He was just working when something occurred which he could not avoid. I'm glad, you know, that, that God put me in a situation that I was able to do what I did. That, you know, I, I have no other words other than to thank God. I did what I thought I had to do. Well, I tell you, I've been doing this a long time. When Don Radcliffe read from his daily devotional pamphlet for today, I was stunned at what it said. It's either coincidence or it's not. I leave that up to you to decide. Additionally, the man who died in that incident, as we told you, has been identified as 25-year-old Terry Gillenwater of Quick. Reporting live here in the studio, Kenny Bass, Eyewitness News.